Welcome back to the Crazy D Ranch and Rabbitry, where we are growing microgreens. The day has come for us to unstack all of our microgreens, and I'm pretty excited uh, to see what we've got. So, let's do this. As you can see, we've already got several that are peeking through. I can tell this is our sunflower seeds, um, but I'm actually going to have to look at our book and figure out exactly which ones are which. But I'm going to pull these off of here and set them out one at a time on the table and just let you have a nice good look at them. Um, this is exciting. Okay, so let's find out what we've got here. In our first tray, we have Chia. Wow! Now, you'll notice that they're very yellow right now. That's because they have not been exposed to light. They've been underneath this dome. So, this is our Chia. And I could be wrong, but I think we may have some a little bit of mold growing. I'm, I'm not sure. Hopefully, that's just little roots. But in our next tray, what have we got? That's pretty. That is very pretty, even without light. And that is tray number four. In tray number four, we have these are the radish. Wow. So once again, it's not as thick and as pretty as a lot of people have them, but, and I really do think we've got a mold issue. So this experiment may go awry, but we will see what we can do. If you've got any suggestions on how to deal with mold after it's started, um, I'm open to hearing it. And once again, a nice looking tray. This is tray number three. And three, I believe this is broccoli. Yep, this is broccoli. And it looks like I didn't get along this edge right here very well. But it is what it is. This is uh, not bad for our first time around. Okay, that tray is not doing quite as well. Let's see what this is. This is tray number... Tray number hidden. Let's flip this around the other way. Tray number one. And this is kohlrabi. So we've got sprouts growing but it's not as healthy looking as some of the other ones okay and now for my second stack Now for our second stack, I believe this top one is wheatgrass. And it's a little more sparse than I would like to see, but uh, definitely have some growth going on. So, and the next tray down is number five. What have we got going in number five? lettuce so oh the lettuce is very full looks like a few little minor spots missing but uh, I think we'll be all right and the next tray is number six so the next one is going to be cabbage So we've 
got cabbage going here and last but not least is sunflower and let me tell you the sunflower is really doing a job of lifting everything up look at that wow that where you can see it a little bit better look at that tray it is just covered so that's pretty uh, pretty exciting um, like I said we got got a few that may have some moisture issues I may have overwatered so here we are with uh, our first attempt at microgreens like I said, I'm feeling like I was seeing a little bit of mold going on. But we're going to see if we can't uh, fight that off. And when I back away just a little bit, that's what our whole setup looks like. With the lights on it, with the microgreen trays in place. Now... I think it's 12 to 16 hours of light and hopefully uh, we'll have something worth harvesting uh, in about a week okay so that's it folks um, the microgreen project is still a go uh, like I said I think we may have some problems we're gonna see what we can do to correct those uh, in the meantime, just wish us luck, and we're going to keep on trying and and uh, keep on making our way with this homesteading adventure here on our teeny tiny Tennessee quarter acre ranch. Uh, right now, we're doing it vertically. So, uh, but if you have any ideas to help us out, we would definitely appreciate it. Uh, otherwise, we're going to be digging around, seeing what we can find out on our own. Uh, I have heard different stories on know what you should do if there's a mold issue and we'll keep you informed um, wishes luck we'll see you next time right here on the crazy D ranch and rabbitry we really appreciate you watching make sure you hit that subscribe button click the bell so you can continue watching me make mistakes and have successes hopefully um, give us a thumbs up if you like this video we appreciate you watching have a great rest of the day we'll see you later